My name is John Burke, Head Guide Information Officer at Kilkenny Castle, and today I'd like to formally welcome you in our native tongue for Falcher Rove Gulergadi and Koshlaw. You're very welcome here in this beautiful castle this morning. Arthur Butler, the sixth Marquis of Ormond, gave the castle to the city of Kilkenny for a nominal fee of fifty pounds. And later it was taken into the care by the Office of Public Works. They commenced with an ongoing restoration to the present day where we have the entire building fully restored to its Victorian splendor, two-thirds for public viewing, and the opposite wing is our conference facility. I'm Paul Smith, Executive Officer with the OPW IT Infrastructure Department. OPW is the Office of Public Works. We're charged with looking after all the historic and public buildings within the Republic of Ireland. So Kenny Castle is not only a heritage site and visitor centre, it's a working office. The OPW took over the running of the castle approximately three years ago. We have a number of staff spread out across the castle with very limited access to email and also to internet. This was all done via dial-up, so we had to provide a solution that gave them fast internet access and also email access and also provided them with a backhaul to their head office in Dublin. Motorola got involved in this project through one of our uh, trusted and certified partners based out of Dublin, Dimension Network System. They are the one who answered to the tender posted by Kilkenny Castle. The situation here was as it's a listed building, 12th century castle, um, obviously walls uh, would be a problem because of the thickness and so on. Also runs um, due to the size of the site here. It is a large site. In this particular instance, the fact that the castle is quite spread out from side to side and there's large areas in between that. So we felt it lent itself straight away to a wireless solution. And wireless inherently is a lot more flexible. We in the OPW actually have to protect these sites. And we couldn't go drilling down walls with 11th century wallpaper on them. So we decided that the wireless solution would cause the least disruption not only to the castle itself, but also to the tour and to the staff in the castle. The solution we implemented at Kilkenny Castle involved for really different stages or different steps. Um, initially, we needed to look at a, a WAN point-to-point -point link, taking uh, an OPW site in the city centre here and linking it to the castle. From that, we have taken the Motorola Canopy product to disperse that link and that bandwidth around the castle, as the castle itself is quite dispersed with different offices and different wings, which previously have never been linked. From that link, then, we have taken the WS5100 wireless switch and implemented a multitude of access ports around the interior of the castle. Non-line of sight is very important in this application due to the fact that the external building here is surrounded by some trees. You couldn't hit it with, say, another vendor's product because, generally speaking, they tend to be line of sight only and direct line of sight. The PTP 400 range is specifically designed to alleviate these type of issues. The wireless network has provided about 90% coverage within the castle itself. This provides not only data traffic but also voice over IP. What is really unique about this solution is because all the wireless product comes from one single manufacturer. And I would say that Motorola is the only manufacturer that can today provide such a strong portfolio. We have one network which is a wireless network which is their main and only network and that really plays into the Motorola vision of wireless by default, wired by exception. Before file sharing meant someone running across the yard with a bit of paper in their hand. Now staff can have meetings in their own offices and browse documents together on their computers. I deem this project to be a huge success. We're able to provide high-speed internet access for not only clients but also staff without disruption to our some 200,000 tourists since installing the wireless network and us being able to provide high-speed internet access and phones anywhere within the conference centre, we've seen a huge amount of bookings coming into the conference centre now, so it's almost paying for itself. A castle is indeed impressive, but it demonstrates that we can implement exactly the same type of technology for any traditional business. The castle is a business on its own right and had to overcome exactly the same challenges that any other enterprise out there would have.